after nearly a decade, two failed attempts by two administrations, today starts New Jersey's march from 47th place when it comes to higher ed. This is a great leap forward in the restructuring of higher ed. But the fact of the matter is today, we declare victory for higher ed in New Jersey. This is a win for everyone. It's a win for New Jersey businesses because they will expand with regards to the businesses involved with our educational higher ed opportunities. This will mean jobs and it certainly means, and let me make this absolutely clear, clear Rutgers Camden remains in Camden. I've said from the beginning there would be no legislation unless Rutgers would remain in Camden, and today that is the case. This was a long time in coming. We talked about it starting over a decade ago. And that has been very difficult for New Jersey, who's been ranked in 47th place with regards to its investment in higher ed. Today, that starts to change. Shortly, both the Senate, uh, which has support of Senate President Sweeney, and the Assembly with the support of Speaker Oliver will move these bills forward, and I believe uh, with the discussions we have, the governor certainly in support of this. And most importantly, for New Jersey, for those students, New Jersey will make that investment that will bring us out of the basement and take us to the top tier. If you look across the country, all of our, the best and the finest, and the most highly credited, most highly financed, and, and those who issue grants are those who have uh, some very important academic, very special academic and medical school components, whether it's in Ohio or Michigan or Washington or across the country. And for a long time, as the Senator said, we've talked about this for New Jersey. We have to talk about just taking, there are those who so a few years ago who said, well, perhaps the Revolution after School of Medicine in New could just work with the workers in New Brunswick and <coughs> experiment and move on uh, their own way. And that would have left Newark by itself and assuming would have left the Camden question unanswered. Uh, but by bringing together all the elements of all of these campuses, the medical school and the <coughs> university, uh, including Rome and Rutgers and UMBJ together as one entity, uh, this is going to really catapult New Jersey on a national stage. Uh, in South Jersey, you know, we've had uh, this growing need. They started a medical school here a few years ago, uh, the first class starting in August. Uh, why isn't it that we have Camden, uh, together with Rutgers and Rowan, and Cooper University Hospital, which is great hospital in South Jersey, they one of deserve to have the same opportunities in that area of the state that we has seen with the, with the advantages of Johnson & Johnson, Robert Johnson School of Medicine, uh, Robert Johnson Hospital, uh, St. Peter's and the University, and all this meant to that city. Uh, of course, the leadership made a big difference there as well. And the same thing is meant to the city of Newark in terms of the school uh, and the workers, both the workers and the BJ. Uh, it's made an enormous different, difference in the life of the city not just in terms of education and job, but also in terms of health care delivery. So South Jersey uh, deserves it, needs it, uh, and it's going to get it. Uh, this is the very best thing we can do for New Jersey, and the uh, legacy won't be ours, the legacy will be that we finally made a decision that moved New Jersey uh, forward after decades of just talk. Uh, there have been those who have criticized this process of being so fast, too fast, uh, but if you don't set a deadline, and if you think about the legislature sometimes how they, they do this, how we work, uh, things can go on for quite a while. But setting a deadline and setting expectations where we want it to be really force people to sit down, make hard decisions, think quickly, think thoughtfully, and get this done. That's what we're going to do.